You know, Isaiah said, who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? You see, the, the story that Isaiah was, was, was narrating or was about to narrate was such an incredible thing that he said, you know, this is huge. People may not believe me because I'm talking about a, a savior that is to come. And, and, and what he's going to do, it's not something that I've seen happen physically, but I've seen it in the spirit realm because God has given me a vision of it and I can talk about it. And if you trust the word of God, then you will trust what I'm saying. So Isaiah had to present it to the people in such a way that they would trust him. And as a result, trust the word that was coming. It wasn't an easy task for a prophet in those days. Because people like to see before they can believe. And if I said to you, as a prophet of God this morning, you're healed by the stripes of Jesus, you better believe me. Yeah. If you want your healing, you better believe me. You may not see the manifestation of that thing straight away, but because I said it, it is so. And you will go away and continue to confess, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. And you won't confess anything contrary to those words. Because sometimes for a while, you may even feel worse. But you know what? A word has come. And a word told you that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. So you stand on that word. Stand on those promises. And eventually one morning you wake up and you hang on for a long time. I didn't feel that feeling for a long time. I didn't have to take medication. It will come to pass because the word of God will not come back void. It will accomplish the purpose for which it is sent. So when you hear it from the prophet's mouth, you believe it. So Isaiah went on to say, he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was talking about the Christ, Christ that was to come. And so could you imagine, here is a person who is coming to save the whole world. And yet, this person is not someone that you will say is a superstar. This person is not uh, an icon. It's not a dashing figure. It's not what even you would expect. And you see, it, it, it makes me sad when I look at some people that God has blessed, he's anointed, he's raised them up, and they start becoming proud and boastful and thinking, look at me, I am it. And you see, when they take on that persona, they lose the message, they lose the anointing that they would have had to be able to speak and people would receive because they've allowed a spirit of pride to come into their lives. 